All right, I'm gonna talk about the Jake Paul Tommy Fury nonsense that's going on right now. So apparently Tommy was stopped at uh, the uh, customs or whatever. Apparently he was approached by Homeland Security trying to get on a plane to go to the U.S. to do some press or whatever, right? And you got Jake Paul coming out saying that he's been talking to Tommy's lawyers and Tommy just needs to go to the embassy to get a visa. Um, first of all, to uh, there, bud, I don't understand how you'd be talking to Tommy's lawyers about this. Second, visas take, in the best of times, 21 to 40 business days to process. Business days. So that still wouldn't work because it doesn't count on weekends. On top of that... Tommy fought last year in August in the United States of America. So that means that he would already have a work visa. So if that's valid, even like for at least one year, that means he would still be valid to do this. So explain how that works, you stupid fuck. Like, I don't understand why this guy can go around talking the shit he does and his little fanboys continue to buy into it. I'm not trying to be mean to the fans of, Tom, of, of Jake Paul, but let's be face facts, guys. Stop being so naive. Seriously. Like, there's a backlog right now for U.S. visas. Get it? A backlog. So that means wait times are extended. Come on, guys. He's full of it. Oh, I'll get $15 million to go fight in the U.K. How about you just honor your contract and you go fight in the U.K.? Just go do it there and make it so you're, the people who are underneath your promotion can still go and get paid. It'll probably even be a bigger fight in the UK anyways. But what are you doing? Sitting there posturing, talking. Like you always do, Mr. Jake Paul. I'm a fucking nobody. But I'll tell you what, bud. In reality, you ain't shit. You lost how much money to crypto? How much? And you're sitting there posturing like you're still the boss? Please. For once in your life, act like a man. And just go over there and fight Tommy Fury. If he's so easy, it should be an easy payday for you. Quit acting so nervous. It's very telling. Personally, I don't think you win. Personally, I think you gas out. You missed your 60 or 70 punches inside of six rounds. Ooh, wow. That's impressive. You won't be able to last, bud. You're scared of the pace. You're scared of what's going to come your way. And your fans are going to be all talking shit about me in the comments. But reality is, I can guarantee you, the majority of them have never even stepped up and even had a sparring match. Let alone an actual fight. So, your bullshit reasons, don't buy them. And anybody who's got a working brain doesn't buy them. Fucking liar.